Oh, hi. My name is Nathan Elkin, and this is uh, AP Physics One. Um, I understand that you're considering taking my course. A um, couple things that you should know: you should have really strong background in Algebra Two, specifically um, right triangle trigonometry and uh, systems of equations. Um, here you can see a sample problem that I was working on. My friend George was hanging from two ropes, and he asked me to find out how much tension we were in the two ropes, because that's really important to know in life. Um, and you can see uh, that we like sines and cosines and tangents here. So uh, understanding triangles is very important. Uh, having a good work ethic and uh, coming ready to learn and be challenged. It is a hard course, um, but we have a lot of fun. Um, you can expect almost homework every single night. Every now and then I give you a night off. I do as much as I can to prepare, for, prepare you for the AP test, but you uh, are expected to be able to study well on your own, get a review book, and work hard to succeed on that test. Uh, last year's pass rate was a 52%, um, which I'm pleased with. Uh, I'm improving that every single year. Um, but it is a very difficult test. Most of you are considering signing up for AP Physics 1 if you've never taken physics before. Um, if you have taken CP Physics and you feel you have a good grasp on that, you can come straight to AP Physics 2. Um, but it is, uh, it is also challenging as well. Um, you're expected to know what you've learned from CP Physics or AP Physics 1. Um, AP Physics 1 covers the first half of our book, AP Physics 2 covers our second half of the book. And so if you do uh, well in CP Physics, that is most of the first half of the book. And uh, if you think you're prepared for AP 2, then come join us.